Okay, I thought today we'd talk about toys that are run on a flywheel, but they're normally sold under the name friction toys or inertia toys. But basically they all use a flywheel to uh, keep them going. And uh, we'll eventually get to these two 3D printed ones that I've recently made that have a long run time. But I thought you might want to see some of the vintage ones. Got your hook robot. And uh, he's basically more like a car because it doesn't walk on legs. He just has the wheels and his head turns once you get the flywheel going. So you get the idea. He's still running. It's not bad. Not the, the best by any means, but not bad. And they even had uh, boats. This is the robot boat that has a flywheel if you were out in the lake. You drop that baby in the water and set the rudder. And of course they had uh, lots of different robot cars. This is just a few of the friction things that I've, I've got. But Most of them are kind of wimpy on the flywheel run. Here's a vintage Russia robot. What's kind of unique about it is it's designed to get the flywheel going by using these wheels. You could run it up a wall or on the floor. And if you want to run it on the floor once you get it going, these front wheels will act as rear wheels. And so it can move along in the flying position if you want. The uh, bottom rocks, it's not broken, it's built that way. So if you're running it in any position other than this, then it's not wasting energy moving the, the walking legs. They only engage when the uh, weight comes down on it, for example. So let's... It has a little bit of a siren sound to them. And like I say, if you want to run them in the flying mode, then, then you can run them like a car. So not bad. We've got, um, there's our laser. Nice thing about him is he is a walking robot and you've got the uh, crank to uh, get him up to speed to get his flywheel going. No laser 008. Not a bad run time on him either. He's got, uh, got little robots. Came out more in the 80s. They have a flywheel and a sparking device. Which uh, sometimes you can see a few sparks. They don't have a very long run time. But then again, they were real inexpensive. You've got uh, several color variations of the Mr. Flash. And basically there's a, a screen here that'll flash and he's on wheels as well. Not a very long run time on him. But again, it was a very inexpensive toy. Playtime came out with uh, one. It has a good gear ratio on it with the turning head and these uh, moving feet, but it basically just moves on wheels. But they actually have a good run time because they get the flywheel going so fast. They really gear it up. You want to get them going real, uh, real fast. They have a pretty good run time. You can see it's still, still going. I had uh, two color variations on that: the red one and the white and black one. Then there's your, your big dynamic machine. Again, he's just moving on wheels, but uh, it's got a clicker in there. The buttons on the part that. Uh, Not a super long run time on the Dynag machine, but then again, he is large, does make a clicking, and has moving guns, so that would be undesirable. Here's a kind of a gambling machine, I guess, your roulette machine type thing. You've got the uh, friction wheels on the bottom. And then every now and then, 
they actually changed when I was pushing it. Let's see, maybe if I go backwards with it. I think they might be on a cam thing and they only move every uh, every now and then. But it doesn't have a very long run time as you can see. And I think you're just supposed to bet on what it's going to end up on. And there you been for a lot of years now, what, five, six years, you could uh, download this thing off Thingiverse, which uses pennies to make a large flywheel. So it's not only uh, a flywheel for storing the power, but it's also a flywheel being used as a gyro. And I'll just put a link down below of this thing operating, so I don't have to spend the time to wind the, the rope up and give it a pull. Okay, I already have a video of that working. Uh, initially I'd found this flywheel car that you could 3D print on Thingiverse, but there were several things I didn't care, I didn't like about it. So I modded them and I put it back up as a, a new mix and improved the flywheel, improved the traction of the tires, and improved the meshing of the gears. And I've uh, shown this one before. It can actually easily go 40 to 50 feet on a push. And if I had a, if I lived in a bowling alley or a gymnasium, I think I could probably even go further than that. So I took my basic, uh, what I learned from this. Well, one of the things I learned from this is this has a very low gear ratio. In other words, for uh, it only takes like three and a half. One turn of this output wheel equals three and a half turns of the flywheel. It's not a very high ratio. So when I went to design my robots. I upped that to uh, 20 to 1. So one turn of the wind-up crank will get the flywheel inside going 20 turns. So you can actually get a lot of um, walking time, run time out of it. And uh, I actually had them walk further than 6 feet which isn't uh, bad for a robot this size. The, um, this was the prototype one. It didn't have a mouth yet or a capture nuts for the, uh, for the bits. So I added a few of those things to uh, this design. Here's the, the crank mechanism, as you can see. It's on a slope. It'll catch turning this way. But if you hold the crank this way, it can slip, so it makes it easier. And you don't have to wind them up very much to get the flywheel going. I'm going to do a build video on this, so if it's something you might be interested in, in building or making, then the files will be in Thingiverse and the video will show you how to do it. So, there you have it. It's just a few of the inertia robots. There are um, there are lots of others. As I walk around, I keep seeing more and more. For example, there are lots of these little guys that will all flywheel and based. These ones originally sparked, but I can see their flints are actually disintegrating, just sitting there. These ones are more of a roulette kind of thing with a little BB in there. There's uh, more of the different colors of the Mr. Flash push one. But, um, and then there, oh, it's all these guys too. These all sparked and had push and a flywheel. Some of them you could see the flywheel. Here we go. So you can actually see the flywheel down in there. But they're just on wheels. Not quite as cool as the uh, leg walking ones that uh, that we've seen here like my two 3D printed ones and the Laser 08 and the Russia robot that actually walk on legs. So I think that's it. Uh, be sure to watch the build video if you're interested in, in making your own flywheel robot. And I think that's it.